because my father paid us, I'm the middle child, he paid the three of us. Our allowance was based on reading good books. Oh yeah, I love it. All of my friends, all my friends got paid an allowance for doing chores and so on, but that's a deal. Phil and Bob, these guys, they get paid to do chores. I think that's a good idea. How about paying me to do chores around the house? That's a, that's, that's a terrible idea. He said, I don't pay you to do chores because you're part of a family and I don't pay you to be part of a family. <laughs> so let me explain it this way, that by the time you were born, John, you already owed your mother for nine months of ruined board. <laughs> so shut up and take out the garbage, you know what I'm saying? And, and by the way, why would, I pay you to, why would I pay you to take out the garbage unless I wanted you to grow up and be a garbage man? He said, I put my money where my values are. And we were required from the seventh grade on to read 30 minutes a day of required reading of which he put the books in our hands. I can tell you, well, by the time my brother graduated from college, he was already a millionaire. By the time I was 28, I had the 10th largest nonprofit organization in the country. By the time my sister was 27, she ran a hospital. Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. Not brilliant kids. Not brilliant kids. Kids that were exposed at a very young age to all the success principles. I was reading Success Magazine. I was flying down to Rio. Two or three years ago at Success Magazine, they had the 25 most important books you can read to be successful. I thought, what a wonderful article. And I read it. And then I decided to go back and count the books of the 25 that I had read. 19 of the 25 books that you have to read to be successful, I had already read, devoured, underlined, studied by the time I graduated from high school. 19 of the 25. No wonder. No, I, I, it, wasn't even a, it wasn't even a race, folks. It is, can, 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 the fastest person doesn't win the race is the person who starts first. Speed is overrated. Getting started is underrated. Especially getting started first. And what my father did is my father understood that if I could get, my, if I could put the good stuff in my kids' lives, and, and I tell you that because some of your parents, I did that for my children. I now do that for my grandchildren. They're on a reading program. Of course, they're on a reading program. I pay them. We talk about the books. So as a man thinks, by James Allen, I, I mean, I grew up every year. I, had, I read that book from seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth. By the time I graduated from high school, I said, this is a book I need to read every year. It's only 72 pages. It's, it's, there's nothing to it. And, and, and now what am I saying? Here's what I'm saying. What are you doing right now to intentionally grow yourself? What are you doing today to truly get better? It's a huge question. And if I could walk off the stage... If, if, if I could walk off the stage and we could just interact, I, I would say to you, the most important thing that you can do, the most important thing you can do is when you leave this conference is, is, to, get on, is to get yourself on a personal growth plan. It changed my life. I, I'm still on a personal growth. I'm 66. I'm still on a personal growth plan.